So, Jimmy. Jason. Who buys brick mixers anymore? More people than you think. Yeah, and I'm kind of coming around to it, especially considering this is not your, your dad's brick mixer. No, mm. this is, um, you know, I, Dynacord's bringing sexy back. Yeah, they've really, it is sleek. Like, if you, this Look is, at this. It's, it's gorgeous. It's, like, it's svelte. It's, it's really, really quite appealing for, uh, for a powered mixer. Yeah. And they've, they've built quite a lot of smarts into it too. Yeah, this is, look, well, we should go from the top. This mm. is the PM502 from Dynacord. Mm -hmm. um, five mic, three stereo line input, uh, as well as dual internal amplifiers, which can do 450 watts RMS, I think, from mm -hmm. memory. Um, and you can drive low impedance systems straight off the NL4s yeah, on the that's back. that's a huge thing. Or, or wait for it, mm. you can drive a constant voltage system so you can get 100 volt line out of it. That's fantastic. So every community hall, bingo parlor, restaurant, mm -hmm. bistro, foyer, school, mm. yep. sailing club. That's why companies keep making bricks, brick mixes. This is where they go. You know? yeah. And it's a huge, huge market that deserves a decent product. Yeah, and this is, this is a decent product. Mm. Um, I, I don't think Dynacord's ever really made a, a not decent product. No. They've made, you know, it's sort of mm. like Mazda. They made some stuff that wasn't mm. necessarily popular, but that mm. doesn't make it bad. No, no, not um, at all. Now, other nice features, there's some mic processing. We've mm. got a, a compressor and a talkover function, as well as a, a mute button. And all of those functions are global across all the mic channels. So you can mute all the mics with one button. Mm. Great if you've got amateur operators around and you mm -hmm. can feedback. If it makes a bad noise, press the red button. Mm -hmm. It's the only red button on the whole unit. Yeah. Um, I really like the LCD display and the mm. menu system's nice and intuitive. Mm. The USB play, you can plug a key in yeah. the front with MP3 files on it, play those straight out. Fantastic. That appears on line input three. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's TRS and RCA for the other two line inputs mm -hmm. and, and obviously various things override various others. Mm -hmm. There's selectable routing. You can route your main into one side of the power amp and your aux bus into the other side of the power amp. So mm -hmm. you can do, you know, mono front of house yeah. and uh, a monitor send as well. Like, they've just really thought about this. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, for me, like really the only letdown is that they don't have like a nice sort of soft carry bag to go with it. Because you mm. can get rack ears for this, mm -hmm. but you put this in a rack mm. and it's going to triple the weight. Mm. Oh, no. you know, and that, that's, that's just killing off one of the nicest features of it, which is that it's very easy to carry around. Mm. Mm. It's very lightweight. And I think they just need to come up with a nice little case for it. Mm. And this is an absolute winner. Yep, I agree.